welcome to this tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial, I am going to discuss how we can use a co-simulation uh, method between PSIM and Simulink, and also how we can use the, the uh, how can how we can uh, modify our uh, functional uh, solar photovoltaic module in PSIM. So first of all, uh, what we need is we will go to the element in the power. There is renewable energy. You can see there are two uh, modules available. One is a physical model, and one is a functional model. So I am going to use the solar module because I want to vary the uh, the, the temperature and irradiance so that uh, the IV curve will vary. So I will put it here. Now as you can see here, if I double click here, I have a lot of uh, uh, you know uh, things available here that it comprises number of uh, cells in it. The standard light intensity, the temperature, <coughs> excuse me, the series resistance as well as the shunt resistance and some other uh, parameters. Now if I want to, uh, there are there is one option in PSIM which allows us to simulate a typical photovoltaic module that is here. This is in utility solar module physical model. When you click here, you can see here uh, if you if you make it 90 and you calculate the IV curve, you will see uh, it will all it will it will make it uh, re uh, rearrange uh, in this uh, in this area. So what I want is I want to have a typical uh, I want to have this cell typical to 36, make it 60, uh, or let us make it 220 watt, uh, make it 72. And the voltage at the P maximum, uh, I want to have it at 42.7. I'm making actually, I, I want to modify this according to the Sanyo HIT 220A01 uh, photovoltaic module. Uh, then the next thing is the current at the P maximum, which is IMPP. I will make it 5.17. Then it is asking me about the open circuit voltage. I will put this thing also here and the short circuit current which is 5.65 next is the temperature coefficient you can uh, consider it you know according to the data sheet of uh, of this for photovoltaic module uh, it is a little bit detailed you can i mean do it yourself so i will calculate the parameters it will make this shunt resistance and short circuit current measure more automatically and then if i calculate this one you can see here this is a 220 watt uh, solar photovoltaic module that has uh, uh, this type of iv curve and pv curve quite smooth thing now if i want to copy this thing in this uh, functional photovoltaic module i simply have to to copy a uh, click here which is copy psim parameter so if i click it here it it prompts me and asks me do you want to copy parameters to solar photovoltaic module 2 in schematic yes i do need so when i do need this you can see here all the parameters that we have uh, we have we have uh, included here are automatically adjusted here with this shunt resistance and this resistance calculated from this model parameters uh, system so you put here your desired data these temperature coefficients and for the voltage and the current short circuit current and open circuit voltage it is already available if you go to the uh, detailed data sheet of uh, this photovoltaic or any other photovoltaic module then what you define is you calculate the parameters it calculates this uh, this series resistance and other you know uh, things like short circuit current iso zero and other thing and it automatically copies it here so after copying this thing now i have a photovoltaic module that is uh, uh, that is what i can i can write it i can i can uh, if i double click here on this properties I can, uh, you know, name this one as Sanyo, uh, uh, Sanyo module, right? So it is not going be beyond this. So you have a limit of five, you know, digits. Now I have it here. I will double click here. Just a minute. Let me see some other things here. Yeah, we have this color line available. We can make it red as well, right? And we can select any other color. So uh, let us uh, take it blue. Blue looks nice. Uh, then what we have to do is we have to put the this is s defines the insulation that is the light that falls on the surface of this photovoltaic module and this t actually defines the temperature <coughs> which is in degree centi centigrade these are the two output terminals with plus and negative sign available here and this one actually gives you the peak or the ideal uh, photovoltaic power at that under that uh, you know s radiation and temperature so in order to uh, to to give a thousand uh, watt per meter square irradiance i will use this dc source you can use a constant as well and i will uh, put a ground with them uh, and will simply connect them uh, like this you can see here i have connected th them I will put it to 1000. This will be 1000 watt per meter square radiance and the temperature of 25 degrees centigrade. Next, I want to plot the IV curve. 
but what I want is I want to have the plot both in the PSIM as well in the in the MATLAB because I just want to elaborate how we can perform a co-simulation between these two. So in order to have a co-simulation between these two, I will uh, I, and 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 that too with the IV curve and the PV curve plotting, I will use a capacitor here as a load here, and before connecting it, I need to have a current sensor because I need to measure the uh, the current passing through it, and I also want to export that current into the uh, MATLAB and this voltage sensor differential voltage sensor so now we have uh, connect connected this thing here okay and i will connect this thing here and this is now in order to export the data because now what if we uh, plot this one let us uh, show you this probe here as well as this probe here let me rename this one as the ipv and this is the VPV. Now, if I want to plot this one here, I can just you know simply run this system and it will give me the I, IV, IV, uh, IPV and the VPV. But I want to have it uh, exported. I want to export it to the MATLAB. So what I will do is this: I will go into the elements. Uh, in this uh, control section, you can see here there is a section of SIM coupler module. There are two type of nodes available here. That is the in-link node and the outlinking node. In link node refers to the data that comes from some other software that is our PSIM. And outlink data is that outlink node uh, exports the data from the PSIM to any other software. So I'm going to use, I, uh, since I want to export the data, I will use the outlink node. I will rotate it, right clicking, you can rotate it, and I will put it here. Now I will rename this one here. This is the uh, IPV, and this one is the VPV. Now, uh, the last thing we have to do here is I will go to the simulate and simulation control. I will click it here and uh, and only we can adjust the time step here. We were not going to give the total time of simulation here that will be done in the simulink. After this, I will open the simulink and if I go to the uh, this component selection uh, tool here, uh, this gives me a library browser and and if I scroll it here, just a minute. Uh, and if I scroll it here, it will give me uh, the S S function, you know, uh, for the PSIM, and I will be using that uh, for uh, for export for uh, for having the data inside the symbolic. So you can see here, this is S function SIM coupler. You just click it here on drag and drop here, and you get this thing here. Now it has no input, no output. Uh, I will double click here. Before that, I am going to save this file. Uh, on the desktop i have already actually created a file so it is already available uh, on the desktop with test one and i will double click here and it is asking me to browse the file which i want to link with this uh, with this uh, uh, coupler so the here it is the test one psim schematic i will open it apply and close it you can see i have two outputs available which is the ipv and the vpv now i want to plot it here so what uh, we can do simply is we can use a uh, sync and we can use an xy graph here also we can have uh, we can we, we have to we, we can have this uh, this product form here so that we can uh, we have the power available as well so uh, this upper one is the x axis which is my voltage and the below one is our y axis which is the current here and the power here so it will give us give me uh, the IV curve, right, and this will give me the PV curve. So I have to adjust the uh, axis limit before you know doing anything. So I will make x axis zero. X axis maximum is uh, the open circuit voltage, which is 52.3. Let us make it 55. Y axis minimum is zero, and the maximum uh, is the now the y axis is the current. So the maximum value of the current is the short circuit current, which is 5.65. I have used, so I will make it six. And similarly here, uh, I have to make this one zero. This one same 55 volt. Y axis zero, and this is a 220 watt meter. So let us make it 250 here, and click it here. Now after this. I have to uh, uh, go to the simulation parameters. We can see here that in the simulation parameters, I have uh, not make the maximum step size auto. I have just you know have 0 0.0001 here. 
uh, it's a typical and the point zero five is okay now what i have uh, to inst uh, to put the value of capacitance make it a big capacitor so that it will uh, so that the curve will take some time to plot let us make it 5000 microfarad for micro in the pcm you use u to have a milli you write m and for kilo you write k <coughs> alternatively you can have you know uh, or you, ca you, you can use uh, the stuff that that is available on the pc manual so now what i will do is i will save this one now every time when i make some change here if i don't save it it will not have any effect on the uh, on this area here now for 0 0.05 second i will plot it this one and you can see here this is a nicely drawn curve here that is available uh, that uh, that is available on the PV curve and the IV curve of this uh, simulink. So this is the IV curve and this is the PV curve. Now I also have uh, used an option. I have used these two probes here to measure the current as well as the voltage here. So that is also appeared here. You can see there are two available curves here, IV and the and the PV curve here. If we use it here, they both are plotted as a function of the time which is the total time for our simulation which is 0 .00, 0 0.05 uh, second so what if i want to have it uh, the same vpv and ipv curve here so i will go here i will use another you know graph here i will use the ipv and i will use the vpv here uh, okay okay let me take this uh, this vpv here ipv rem uh, i will remove it it will be vpv here and another one that will multiply these with uh, each other to, to get the power so iv vpv cross ipv and this is the power so now we have this uh, whole thing available here for 0 0.05 second now i want to make this a uh, time period as a function of the voltage so i will go into in the axis and there is choose x axis variable so if i click it here it will show me the time the current the, the three things available the two things we have measured one is the uh, current second one is the voltage and third one is automatically the time so in order to plot iv curve and the pv curve we need to have uh, voltage as an x axis i will click it here and you can see here it has nicely drawn this thing and this one is since the voltage so it is it is it is a linear function uh, as expected now this is the iv curve and this is the pv curve and this is not fully plotted because the time is less so let us uh, again uh, uh, simulate this one with point 0.1 time so at point 0.1 you will see here this is uh, now the time is uh, the time taken by the capacitor the, it has fully charged initially it was uh, it was uh, short circuited because uh, it is the f behavior of a of a capacitor uh, with the passage of time it gets itself charged as a result the voltage uh, you know increases and you reach at this value and which is an open circuit value after which there is no current that flows through that capacitor and the power is zero so as you can see here this is your maximum power point here uh, which correspond to this value of the current and the voltage value similarly we can also export some data here for example i want to, uh, to to send data from the simulink to uh, to the pcm for that i need to have this uh, i will go to here i need an in in link block so in the in link block for example i want to have i want to connect it here directly okay so i want to vary the temperature i want the temperature to come from that place so let me call it uh, t here and if i save it you can see here there, uh, there i will i have to apply it here and there is this t section which is available here i can give the temperature uh, uh, from here using any constant block or using any you know source let us suppose i want to st have a step change in the temperature so what i will do is i will uh, i will select a unit step function here let me see where it is okay this is a step function here i put it uh, here and this is uh, initial time or whatever now when i play this one it will get the the temperature which is being sent from uh, from the simulink to the pcm so this is how we can have a co simulation this is obviously a very basic thing uh, most of the time when we deal with the photovoltaic system we do have a dc to dc converter uh, connected to uh, some load and as well uh, uh, and some photovoltaic module here so the advantage here is uh, the pcm is designed especially for the power electronic based circuits that gives you a lot of flexibility while while simulating the system so the point is you design your control in the simulink 
you export the data which is normally the duty cycle ratio and you uh, you use a chopper based or some other buck or boost converter to uh, to to track the maximum power point that we will be discussing in some later uh, you know tutorial uh, thank you very much